Hi everyone, welcome to the session on machine learning with Python. In this session, we will learn about uh, how to handle the missing values and uh, specifically I will cover the KNN imputation and uh, I'll show you the maths behind KNN imputation. Suppose uh, you don't have the scikit-learn library or you don't have access to any other uh, Python programming or any other programming language, then using pen and paper, how you will calculate the missing values of a data set. I have created uh, this Excel sheet. I'm not going to use the Excel formulas. I'll simply use like pen and paper and how do we calculate the missing values uh, let's just go uh, quickly what is KNN and then I'll show you the steps involved in the calculation so what is a KNN? KNN or uh, the Kenyers neighbor is one of the simplest and the easiest technique of imputation in machine learning. the most important thing is the KNN works on Euclidean distance between the neighbor coordinates now I am uh, referring this uh, site math is fun.com I really like this and if you want to calculate the Euclidean distance between two points suppose this is one this is my uh, point x a y a and this is x b y b then the Euclidean distance will be calculated at square root of x a minus x b whole square plus y a minus y b whole square and uh, you can calculate and similarly you can go for the uh, three dimensional uh, the distance uh, for three dimension is also given this is suppose this is a point x n uh, so you have to take the square root of xa minus xb whole square plus ya minus yb whole square plus za minus zb whole square. KNN can be used for both classification and regression and KNN is often used in the more complex cases, complex classifiers such as the artificial neural network and the support vector machines. Now, if I have this data set and uh, if I have this, this data wherein we have the two columns, the age and the salary and the salary is nothing but in terms of millions. For 20 years, it's 30. It's 3 million for 40 years, 4.5 for what will be the salary? Uh, what will be the salary for a person of age 30 years? How do we calculate? If you see here in this, if you if you see here in this uh, diagram, the person lies in somewhere in between the 20 and 30 years. And what we'll do, we'll automatically take the average out, okay, of uh, 4 and 3. Okay, 4 and 3 is how much? 4 plus 3. Is how much 7 7 divided by 2 is 3.5 so it will be somewhere around uh, somewhere 3.5 but how my uh, pandas will calculate how you will implement it using pandas okay so what i will say from sk learn dot impute import and then what i'm going to do i will just create a object of knn computer okay And I need to pass the number of neighbors. In my case, it's just two. Okay. And my object for the KNN imputer is created. I and I'll pass my data set df1. So you can see here three. If you if you add it, three plus four point five. Okay. And divide by two. This will be three point seven five. Actually, this is this is four point five. So 3 plus 4.75 is nothing but uh, 3.75 and also here it is given 3.75. So with, for, for one or two, for two dimensional, it's very simple. But the real case arises when we have the huge data set and there you cannot simply just uh, blindly or you cannot just orally calculate the value. There you have to follow some steps, some approaches and then only you can get the exact value. So what I have done is I have created a pandas data frame wherein I have the four column maths, chemistry, physics and biology and I have uh, uh, missing values in almost all of the like uh, fields, maths, chemistry and how do I fill the missing values? So using a KNN imputer it will be very simple. I will once more I will create this object okay of KNN imputer and then I will simply fit in And then I'll pass the df. Okay. The moment I pass in, and then you can see here all my missing values is being filled. Okay, nine is being replaced by eight to six. What uh, here this nine for uh, the missing value for chemistry is being replaced by fifty nine. The missing value for physics is seventy point five. The missing value for biology is seventy two point five. But how do we achieve this mathematically? That is the core uh, that uh, agenda of this session. So let's start. So first of all, what we need to do, we need to choose the column with missing values to fill in. Okay. So this is uh, the very first thing. Of, uh, what I will do, I'll take the maths column. This is my maths column, and then I need to select the value in the row which is missing. Then after that, we need to choose the number of neighbors that you want to work with. Ideally, you want to uh, go for a 
KNN where the number of neighbors is 2, 3, it depends on you and your data. After that, we need to calculate the Euclid and the point number 4 is calculate the uh, Euclidean distance from all other data points corresponding to each other in the row and the last is select the smallest 2 if in case if you are using the number of points as 2 KNN if you are giving n underscore neighbors 2 then you need to select 2 point and get the average out those two if you are using number of uh, neighbors three then you have to take the smallest three and average it out it all depends on, on you so let's start what i will do here these are my marks and this is absolutely matching this is matching with my data set which i have prepared right 80 90 and 92 okay all everything is so everything is matching here now the very first thing what we need to do is just mark out uh, this is my uh, row which has in case of maths the very first column I'll take in the left hand side and in case of maths this is my uh, NAN right so what I will do I will first of all I'll calculate the weights weight is nothing by total number of features uh, divided by number of features which has value so if, here you can see there are three coordinates one two three apart from maths there are one two three and out of the three only two has value okay so what we'll say three by two and here what we'll say in the second case it's three by three in the third case okay it's total values present is three okay but actual value uh, which has value which is non nan is one okay after this now in case of chemistry what we'll do we'll take the value here corresponding to the missing values of maths uh, the value of chemistry is 58 so what we'll do 58 minus 60 we will write here 58 minus 60 then similarly 58 minus 65 58 minus 65 we'll leave this and then here because you have nan here so let's we'll write blank okay just for our reference similarly for physics what we'll do the value of physics corresponding to the maths which has uh, missing value is 84 so 84 minus nan so the moment nan wherever it is present it will become blank okay and then what we'll do 84 minus 84 minus 57 84 minus 57 and then we'll leave this value and then we'll, what we'll do 84 minus 78 okay and then for biology also what we'll do the value of biology which is corresponding to the missing value of math is 67 so we'll say 67 minus 78 okay and again uh, for uh, for uh, the second row it will be 67 minus 89 and here it will be nan so what we'll do we'll say blank okay now again we will do the same thing we'll copy this three thing and then what we'll do here for chemistry no, uh, what is the value of 58 minus it is minus 2 this will be how much minus 7 this will be blank is there so we'll say it as blank okay whatever now then we have same again blank and 84 minus 57 is how much it's 27 and 84 minus 78 is 6 we will go here biology 67 minus 78 is 21 minus 21 no 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 67 minus 78 is how much minus 11 and 67 minus 89 is how much minus 22 right and here it is blank so we'll say it as blank now what we'll do the sum of the Euclidean distance so here it is 2 uh, minus 2 square is how much 4 plus will not take blank and then a square uh, square of uh, minus 11 square is how much 121 similarly for the second row it will be minus 7 square will be 49 plus 27 square is how much now 27 square is 729 plus 22 square is 484 even though it's minus it will come plus now you need to add these okay And then what we'll do, uh, we'll just insert one column here. Okay. So the added value of this will be how much? 125. If you add this up, 49 plus 729 plus 484. This is how much? 1262. 1262. And the last value here, this. This will be how much? Square of this will be square of six will be how much? 36. The other two values blank, so this will also be 36. Now we need to take a square root of the 
uh, square root of the weight and sum. So now you can see here weight is how much? 3 by 2 is 1.5. So you'll say square root of 1.5 into 125. Similarly, for the next thing, you, uh, next row you'll say square root of uh, square root of how much? Uh, 3 by 3 is 1. This weight is 1. So we'll say 1 into just for your reference purpose, I am giving the value, writing the value 1 into 1, 2, 6, 2. Okay. And here the square root will be square root of here is how much? 3 by 1 is 3. 3 into 36. Right. Now what you need to do is calculate all this value square root of you can use np.sqrt or you can use your calculator whatever you have of 1.1.5 1. 1. into 125 square root is how much 13.6 i'm just taking two places of decimal okay 13.69 now square root of 1262 is 35.25 and for this square root of 3 into 36 it's 10.39 okay okay now if you see here out of these three values 13.69, 13.5.52 13, and 10.3 which are the two smallest values okay 13.69 and 10.39 okay the first and the last so we'll go to the mathematics column the first and the last 80 and 92 you take the mean of that okay the first and the last 80 and 92 okay 80 80 plus 92 divide by 2 is how much 86 and you can see here imputation using knn it is filling the value with 86 again if you if you give the number of neighbors here as 3 okay and now if you see the value will change it because it is taking it, what it will do you need to take the uh, average of 80 90 and 92 so 80 90 and 92 and then you need to divide by 3 you can see here 87.33 and it is matching absolutely well. What I will do, I will just show you one more of this sheet. And regard, regarding the remaining two, you can take it as the assignment and you can do it yourself. I'll give you the link of my GitHub account, which is be present in the description. Okay. So for uh, like for chemistry, what we'll do, we'll go, we'll do it faster. Okay. So here it, there are uh, there are three coordinates present and in this only one has none so it will be 3 by 2 here it will be 3 by 3 here 3 by 3 okay and here it will be again because there is one land so 3 by 2 2 now for the value of maths which is corresponding to the land value of chemistry is 92 so what we'll do here we'll say 92 minus 80 then 92 minus then 92 minus 90 nan it is nan here so we'll let it be as we'll say that blank tell it as blank and then again the more the place where you have nan will mark it as blank okay now after this uh, now here the value of physics corresponding to the nan value of chemistry is how much 78 so 78 minus 57 78 minus 57 then again 78 minus 84 Again, for biology, it will be nan value, right? So everything will become, everything will be blank. Okay, now again, we will co co copy this uh, weight here and we'll calculate this value. 92 minus 80 is 12. This is 2, this is blank. Then for physics, it will be again blank here, the very first row. And then 78 minus 57 is how much? 21. And then here will be 78 minus 84 is minus 6. Similarly, for biology, all is blank. Okay? So we don't have to worry. Now, after this, what we'll do, we'll do the sum of the Euclidean distance. It's not here, it's very simple. So square of uh, 12 is 144, right? So we'll say here, here at 144. Then here it will be uh, square of 2 is 4, and square of 21 is 441. And then square of minus 6 is 36. Then what we'll do here? Uh, you will do the sum of the uh, some some of uh, some of the squares of the Euclidean right? So 144, then 441 plus 4 is 445, and here it will be 36. And then uh, 
36 here and then we need to take the square root of the weight so i'll say square root of uh, what is the weight here it is 3 by 2 is 1.5 right 1.5 into 144 similarly here it will be square root of uh, uh, here it will be how much 1 into 445 and here it will be square root of uh, here it is again 1.5 1.5 into 36 now what we'll do here we'll simply calculate the value this value will be 14.69 and this is square root of uh, uh, 445 will be how much 21.09 and the square root of uh, 36 into 1.5 is 7.34 now what you do now what you need to do is the smallest two values is 7.34 and 14.69 so you go to the extreme left and In the first and last, the middle one we don't, don't need to take. First is 60 and the last value is 58, right? So 60 plus 58 divided by 2, how much it will become? It is 59. So what we'll do, we'll change the neighbors to 2, okay? Now it will. So it is being replaced by 59, okay? Now if you change the value, okay, to 3, then what happens the last value it will be 61 so how it will come 61 60 plus 65 plus 58 by 3 okay so the value is exactly 61 so in this way you can use uh, uh, the mathematical formula which i have shown you in very uh, easiest and the simplest manner okay so in this session what i have done is i have shown you the definition of kns uh, knn and then using just uh, age and salary, how to find the average of the two points. But in the real world data set, it will be more complicated. So I have created a data set of maths and uh, science and everything. And then how to calculate the value using both KN and imputer as well as using the uh, using uh, pen and paper, how we can calculate the value. And this too, the missing values for physics and biology, you can take an assignment and you can do it by yourself. Okay so that's it for the session thanks a lot for watching the session if you feel this video is helpful please press the like button and subscribe to this channel and in my next session i am going to show you how we calculate the uh, missing values you of using knn uh, imputer using the fancy knn impute so stay tuned to my channel and i'll be posting the video very soon i'll see you in my next video thank you